back to vlogging with Mark. This week, as we move closer to the end of the Gospel of Mark, we're entering into that section of the Gospel where Mark has been heading chapter after chapter after chapter. He's coming to the point where we're focusing on the price that Jesus paid on our behalf. We're going to dig into that in just a little bit in some more detail. But as you do so, I just want you to think with me about the idea that Mark is really wanting to emphasize this point. He's going to spend a considerable amount of verses on the topic of Jesus' suffering. And so we need to spend some time in this. Before we talk about that more in just a second, I want you just to make sure that you spend some time this week and don't forget to read the Gospel of Mark ahead of time because this is going to help you each Sunday as you come and watch online or in person. In this place in the Gospel of Mark that we're looking at this week, we come to one of the most difficult parts of the gospel to read. And by that, I don't mean the language in which it's written. I don't mean the vocabulary. I don't mean the complexity. What I mean is the subject matter. We are looking in to the suffering of Jesus, the suffering of Jesus. Anybody who's been around the Christian faith for any time at all knows that the faith known as Christianity, the one true faith that is fully expressed through belief in Jesus Christ includes suffering. Uh, right behind me, even as I speak, right here in the worship center is a large cross. So every time we gather in this room, we look upon the cross and remember the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, thankfully, that's an empty cross. We know, as we'll talk in more detail about next week, that Jesus did not remain in this state of suffering. But this week we want to focus on that suffering, not so we can delight in it, obviously, and not so we can dig into the details so much, but so we can again appreciate the fact that Jesus suffered on our behalf. One of the phrases that I've said before in this series and will say again is that wonderful quotation of Paul where he says, he who is without sin has become sin. He who is without sin has become sin. If we think about this, he has become sin, Jesus has become sin. That word helps us understand the depth of suffering that Jesus entered. We're going to be talking about some physical suffering that Jesus experienced, but we're going to be focusing also on the psychological suffering, the, the suffering that took a toll on Jesus to the point that he is in great anguish. He is in uh, great points of despair. We're going to see also in this very same study that this despair, however, did not lead uh, to a self-pity. This despair did not lead to a surrendering to any kind of evil or to temptation. It indeed helped him to even further trust in the Father. I'm looking forward to exploring this more with you and encourage you to do that. Again, you can do that in two ways. You can do that at 930 online and watch the recorded premiere service on YouTube or Facebook, or you can meet us in person right here in the Worship Center, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Make sure and stay tuned to social media because as things progress the season, as we look at the different mandates and the response to open services, we're going to be looking at the potential of uh, changing times and amount of services, so stay tuned to that. But for now, no, 9.30 online, 11 o'clock in person. Hope to see you one of those ways. Thanks for watching. Thank you.